Mr. Johnston, I'm Nina Karnick, medical director at Holby. Hello. I wanted to apologize for the confusion earlier. I don't care, as long as it's still happening. We have to think of every single patient in the hospital. Well, and they all need treatment more than me. Because your surgery is a non-urgent cosmetic procedure. Oh. I'm sorry. I was deformed at birth and I lost my baby brother. Your brother? Charlie. We were conjoined twins. I didn't realize. Yeah, well, he only lived for a fortnight. So. I see. He left me like this. A constant reminder of something missing. That must have been hard. I don't want to forget him. I can't carry him around with me everywhere either. Does that make sense? Yes, perfect sense. I don't know exactly what you've been through, but I know what loss feels like. But well, then you understand why I have to have this operation today. Don't I ask what happened to your dad? <sighs> Does it matter? Well, if it matters to you, it matters to me. I'd really rather not talk about it. <laughs> uh, fancy a fact break. Promises, promises. What was that? Hmm? Nothing. I'll tell you what, I could murder a slice of that wedding cake. <laughs> Happy couple. Welcome. What new hell is this? Oh, it's a great cake. Hello. Oh. You won't brew it then? No last minute objections. Welcome, yours. Get out. That's a relief. I said, get out! At last, a spark of passion. I haven't made my speech yet. Oh, please, what? let them enjoy their day. Oh, I don't think we want a contribution from the God Squad. Sanity obviously runs in the family. Just give it a rest, Mum. I've been working on it all week. Come on, Mr. Stark. Keep away from me, you obsequious little creep. Okay, let him have him say. Sasha. Thank you. You know, the marriage of his daughter should be the proudest day of any father's life. But today is even more special for me because my little girl is doing what I never could, stepping out of the malign shadow of a parent who deserves neither love nor respect. Only a week ago, I said to Zosha, that her mother would be ashamed of her. <laughs> what kind of a man would say that to his child? Truth is, your mother would be ashamed of me. Oh, well, that's all behind you now, because you have Oliver. Not so much a groom as an escape tunnel. He's going to stand here and take this. So you could do the lie down. Could do with the sound kicking. Uh, I haven't finished yet. Yes, Dad, you have. And now it's my turn. I just wish my mum was here today and that you were the dead parent. But she was consumed by a cruel disease. And I know what that feels like. Because I have my own cancer eating away at me. I'm looking at it right now. This malignant tumour of a man, drunk and bloated with self-pity. It's time to cut you out once and for all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. Astounding. Uh, let's, uh, get all this cleared up. There you go. Yes, there I go. I'm sure it'll all be forgotten in the morning. <laughs> Optimistic. So, will you be all right? What? It's 
Probably best to sleep it off. Yeah, I want you to buy yourself a drink. No, I don't need any money. Oh, of course you do. Honestly, Mr. Sutton. Please. No. Thank you. If you're determined to operate on Russell Johnston today, I'm assisting. Dare I ask why? Belt and braces. <laughs> you don't trust me in my own theatre. I didn't say that. Or did Russell tell you his story? I don't think our aims for this place are all that different. I've looked through the first couple of guys' cases. And? The textbook stuff, the occasional moment of genius thrown in. If you think any of that genius crosses the line into madness. <laughs> For what it's worth, regarding the Johnston case, if I was in your shoes, I'd have done exactly the same. Hmm. How'd you like the food, Mum? Do you think some creature gave its life for this travesty? Wait, another gin, please. Oh, um, I forgot. I bought you these. <laughs> Shouldn't have. Well, I love you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for dealing with my father earlier. That's not a problem. My hero. I mean... What are you two gawping at? Definitely one for Harry Hill. Delete that. Now. Maybe you should check on your dad later. I don't think so, somehow. Decision's done. Good. Would you mind if we looked in on Dad later? Are you sure that's a good idea? I don't want to leave it like this. He's burnt his bridges. It's my wedding day. Which he's done his level best to destroy. The things I said, Ollie. Sound suspiciously like the truth, Sosh. I don't want to start a new life like this. Let's go down then. Hmm? Oh, Nicholas. Yes, Mrs. B. Where were you when I was 25? A mere twinkle in my joyless father's eyes. My kingdom for a time machine. Have you talked much to him about his brother? Briefly. Must be a hell of a burden to carry with you all those years. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate here. Did you delete it? What? The video. Oh, God, no. That's been sent out into the world where it belongs. Are you joking? 
I'll get millions of hits. That's my best mate. You know, this is the weirdest wedding that I've ever been to. Why are you being so obnoxious today? From start to finish, you've got Downton Abbey, Hyacinth Bouquet, <laughs> Psycho Alkyd, and that muppet in the penguin suit over there. Oi, leave Lofty alone. Oh, got a little soft spot, Abby. He's done nothing to you. Maybe a hard spot. One more word. And what? Nothing. You promised me this big amazeballs party. Well, I'm very sorry to disappoint you. I've had to entertain myself all day. If you don't like it, you can go. Maybe I will. Bye, then. Fine. Nick, any idea if there's a good bar near here? Matter of fact, I do. Let's go. That's me, folks. Have a nice life, you two. Blanche, it's been emotional. Lofty, just keep being you. I think I might join you, boys. Your carriage awaits, Mrs. B. Thank you. Do you think Guy Sal still has a future here? Do you? Well, if he was bruising on the job, as far as I'm concerned, that's got to be it. I think he needs serious help. Don't we all? I wonder if he's beyond help. I thought you were about to make a case for him. You really don't know me at all, do you? Hopefully that'll change. Hi. You think Freddie will come back? No chance. Sorry. Don't be. It's just another car crash to enter the collection. I wish I never talked to you again back with him. Me too. You needed time on your own, Arthur Isaac. You think? Definite rebound job. Oh, I'll get the professor of love over here. Maybe you're trying to prove something to yourself. You know, Lofty, give the Agni Aunt crap a rest, yeah? I never should have stayed. Yeah, the bar won't rotate. Why not? It's stuck on the skin. Why not try a bit of brute force? Go on. Ready? I'll apply pressure. <sighs> Job done. Looking good. Okay. Let's get the stabilizers on. Close up. Hey. May I come in? Of course you can. 